Uh, where do you want to go exactly? How far do we need to go into these ruins to have considered it taking you there? Yeah, 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 I'm working on that. Uh, I don't know. Maybe he wants to go in them? I'm not entirely certain where he wants to go the specifically. So Jim must want to go a little bit up the hill. So maybe he just wants to go a little bit up the hill as well. Perhaps what to say before I get into another encounter. Okay, well this... Hey, ruins! You see ruins! Okay, it doesn't count. Alright. I'll take you up to the front door then. Oh, that's right. You gotta go around. What about that? Excuse me, guys. Valerie to the front. What are you doing, Okbo? Get your butt up there. Even the rabbit gets there ahead of you. That's just sad. Is that my camp? I think that's my camp. Okay, we're in, Harem. Does this count for you? What more do you want from me? Okay, thank God for that. Can we go home now? Uh, what? Examine the ruined dwarven fortress of the Harem. What does- I don't know what he hopes to find. Where does he want me to go? Bruh. Bruh. If you want me to solve that sun and moon puzzle, I cannot be bothered for the life of me. Seriously, I can't. I flicked some switches and now I don't know what order they're in and I don't know what I have to do, so I just- I want to leave it. Okay, well... I'm just going to hit this. I don't know where they're supposed to face. I, do, do I have to solve that puzzle? Is that what he wants of me? I don't know what he wants of me. Hi. Um, where do you need me to go? <sighs> I'll take him here in case he wants to go here, but I'm not quite sure where he wants to go to know where to take him. Or could have the symbols of the runes. I don't remember if we did anything with them in the end. Damn, he is just charging forward. He wants to discover this. Wow. Nothing? Bro, where do you want me to go? I don't know where the fuck to take you. I don't know how to solve this puzzle either. Because that's a symbol on the wall up top, but what does that mean? I don't know what that symbol is. Oh god damn it. Back out. He needed to examine a statue before he went in the entire ruins. God damn it. Okay. Okay, okay. Harem, have a looky here. It's worse than I thought. Harem pulls his beard, his eyes are full of suffering. Dwarfs, where are you now? Why did you leave this fortress and let it be defiled by monsters? Perhaps you were killed, and no one survived to tell your families about your fate. He turns his gaze to you. Now you see, Verity. This once proud fortress has fallen, all her inhabitants long gone. Death and oblivion wait for every person at the end of their path. Soon you and I will reunite with the eternal emptiness to- Not too soon, buddy. Well, I don't look forward to reuniting with eternal emptiness just yet. <laughs> Your ignorance changes nothing. You won't miss the end of the path anyway. My aim is to make you ready for that. This is the will of Grotus. Well, um, cool. Perhaps the fortress seems to be necessary. If you put forth such an argument, you must know little about the dwarves. We are the most stubborn creatures in the world. Dwarves would never abandon a fortress without a proper fight. He raises his eyes and stares at the broken statue near the gates. Oh, the cradle of sorrow. Cradle of sorrow. Here we go. Okay, let's go. Uh, let me check the next place. Alrighty. I'm not sure if these count, because I may have already done these as normal people without him. But we're gonna check our options nonetheless. So we'll see if we can the look path is clear. at this statue. You're weak, Torag. 
weak and pathetic. How could you, the god of all dwarves, the cr great creator, be knocked down by some meager troll? You've confused the god with the sculptor depicting him. Echo notes calmly, but Horam doesn't hear him or just doesn't care. Gods are not pathetic. Those who grovel at their feet and beg for charity, then cry when they receive no crumbs from the divine table, on the other hand. Also, how can the dwarves put their trust in you, you traitor god? How can you protect your people if you're incapable of defending even yourself? It's just an old statue. What Torog... What Torog has to do with it? Grammar. A+. Plus. The statue was ancient and easy to break. Don't try to see hidden signs where there aren't any. Hmm? Ooh, we passed a religion check. Did I now? Oh, won't tell me. You confuse the reason with the consequence. Torog's worship has left this place. Their faith doesn't empower Torog anymore, so he has no need to protect this fortress. That is a really good argument. Horeb opens his mouth to object, but apparently can't find any good arguments. Finally, he gives up on you. You're so blind, Verity. He says just fill the silence and turns away. Well, that's insulting. Bruh. Don't tell me I'm blind. Okay, now we need to go find that rune that I saw on the wall. Because apparently he wants to look at it. So be somewhere. Here? I don't remember where it was. We very visibly pass it on our way through. Ugh. Or is it in, in, the, in the next place? Maybe it's in the next room. Out. I could be wrong. I just plain don't remember. I thought it was up here though. I really thought it was up here. Nah, it 100% up Let there. Get your ass back up here, guys. Where the fuck is this symbol? We passed it. You auto-traveled to here, and you passed it. Where the fuck is it? It's this room. Isn't it near this symbol? No, it's before this symbol somewhere. The path is clear. Before it where? Oh, that's not the symbol, but it's a symbol. Where's the one I'm seeking? This doesn't feel right. Mm. Where the fuck is it? I literally passed it two seconds ago. Oh my god. I don't know. I don't know. Nothing I find tells me where this fucking thing is. <sighs> Maybe it's on a wall down here somewhere. I don't know. I'm kind of just annoyed at this point. Why? Why do I have to bother doing this? Like, I gotta admit, I don't like any of my companions. I don't care about their quests. I don't care about their storylines. I just want to finish the main story of the game. That's Trade literally all I'm interested in. So, having to do this side quest, it just it, it utterly bores me. Oh, I was here all along. Oh, because you can't pass through that chamber. That's why. Ugh. Look, this is the rune of the Langabuck. No idea. Clan. The Hell Clan must have perished many years ago. Now we know the place where their path ended. Let Grotus wrap them up. Blah, 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 blah. Cool, great. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, sad. So sad. Let's go. Um, I think this room is more I'm 100% certain. I need to find the room where I fought Tartuk and Hargulka. I think that was this room. I could be wrong, though. It could be... No, that's the room with the little... The, the, the dude in it, isn't it? Or is that the... Uh, nothing? Hmm. I don't know, actually. I'm starting to doubt myself. Ah, this glowy thing. Yeah, it looks about right. Hey, Horam, you want to look at that? Yes, he does. An ancient anvil. Can it Can it still work? Well, it's glowing. My answer's probably yes. Horam can't believe his own eyes, so he reaches to the anvil, touches it with care. Fiery sparks slip dangerously close to his beard. It's just beautiful. The dwarf smiles happily. You see, everything isn't that bad after all. The anvil is still operational. What do you say now? Harem pets the 
anvil gently without any fear of its heat. Once, I dreamed of working with a furnace like that. I gave oaths to Torag that I'd craft hundreds of suits of armor. What happened? Why did you change your religion? That my hammer would be tireless. Ugh, that was so long ago. He finally votes his gaze from the fire and turns to you. The very existence of his anvil is miraculous and unnatural. So much suffering and sorrow surrounds us and yet here, hope? Prime shakes his beard in negation. This shouldn't be like that. This is just wrong. Hiram turns around and glares at the anvil with hate in his eyes. His hand, hands clench into fists. Grotus, grant me strength. I'll restore righteousness. Oh, what? The dwarf deals a strong blow with his fist to the anvil base. Bruh. It's this mystical, magical wonder of the dwarves that even you were so reverent about. And you just destroy that shit. Why? What is wrong with you, destructive motherfucker? And he just chuckles evilly while doing it. Bruh, you got issues. You need to see someone about it. I don't ring Grotus. The light grows dim for a moment. A dull rumble seems to start at the base of the anvil, the sound growing steadily louder, and finally filling the whole room with a deafening roar. You could swear you hear the mad laughter of Grotus in this roaring. Maybe it is Hiram's own laughter. The anvil trembles and suddenly falls apart, as if trying to catch up in time with the rest of the fortress in its state of ruin. Ha! That was awesome! When did you learn to break cast iron with your bare hands? You're strong. You know, I have a feeling I was meant to do this like a bajillion levels ago, so the checks are really low. <laughs> Why did you destroy this anvil? Does Grotus encourage destruction now? I've always believed that Grotus does not destroy. He just waits until the end comes to everything in this world. For all the... How can you constantly doubt the overwhelming might of Grotus? What do you mean? Where? Where am I supposed to see him? And I have a good point. Grotus isn't about willfully destroying shit. It's about things just naturally coming to an end. His face grows red with anger, missing capital H. His face, uh, his eyes bulge and seem to almost fall from their sockets. How can you denounce him every time you get a chance? You're a blasphemer. Yeah, but what you just did had absolutely nothing to do with Grotus. It had just to do with your crazed rage. Filled with rage, he raises his hands to hit you. Bruh! You touch me and I will backhand you. But at last moment, he turns away and hits the base of the broken anvil. Said, Dude, you seriously need to work on your anger issues? And like this whole negative vibe you got going? I think you suffer from depression and you should really deal with it. Because you're taking it out on others now. You were about to do violence against another person for no reason other than because you were angry. <laughs> Okay. What's that? Haram's second blow shatters the remnants of the anvil. Among the shards, something catches your attention. An odd red stone. Not green? I need green! Definitely of magical origins. It radiates heat and glitters with every shade of flame. The priest picks up the glimmering jewel from the floor. It's totally not on the floor, but we'll roll with it, and looks at it suspiciously. He nearly throws the gem against the wall, but something makes him hesitate. The red reflections dance on his face. Break it, bitch. No, what is it? I don't know, but I feel Torag's touch upon it. Yeah, but you denounced Torag. Maybe those who created the anvil put it inside, or, hmm. No, no, nonsense, this can't be. Jewels don't appear from out of nowhere, but then metal isn't usually broken with bare hands, right? I don't know, Verity. I don't know. Give it to me. Oh, he really just gave it to me? I thought he was gonna resist. Arm hands you the jewel. There, do as you wish with it. You can sell it, throw it away. Keep it as a memento. If it's Tor, it if it's Torag's parting gift, I have no need of it. Heart of the anvil? Well, maybe maybe it is. And maybe you do need it. Maybe that's the point. Maybe it was meant for you. Hiram wipes the tears from his eyes. I shouldn't have come here. Well, I did try to tell you not to. What I, did I expect to find besides decay and dust and ash? I... Forgive me, Verity. Thank you for honouring my request to bring me here. But now, now I wish to be alone. Whatever, bro. Is that complete? Done skis? Yay, go team. Let's leave. This place sucks. I have too many traumatic memories of this journey. Let me leave. <sighs> Except the top next. Yeah, Amiri's quest is so far away. Oh my god. It's like the whole map away. Keep forgetting there's loot up there. Ah well, I'm sure it's not like key important loot or the game would have told me. Oh, I've never been over there! I suppose there was never any need, was there? Because you need to go that way. Well, yeah. Hmm. Anywho. Should we stop by the capital 
or go straight there because it's the beginning of the month, which means we're going to be getting some events along the way. Or do we just make a run for it north? Should I look for new paths while I'm up here? Like, this is a path which will lead me across the river. So should I, should I check this out? Surely there's another way to connect, connect with the Verdant Chambers. And then there's something happening over here. Or we can go here and then head up. And around. Oh, we could just stay on this side of the river entirely. You know, so many options. Let's get to here. This is where the first aggression seems to happen, from what I can tell. Now, I don't have Knock Knock for his dexterity and stealth, so he might have to run into some fights along the way. Oh, oh, I don't remember where we're Oh, God, where are we supposed to go for... Oh, it doesn't matter. Amiri's quest is gone. It doesn't matter anymore. Um, I'll do that. Stop. Turn around, go back. <laughs> And then we'll head this way. Oh, hello. What's this? Military. Eh, whatever. Ah, uh, north please? I, I would like to bear north. Duh. North please! Wow, we go so quick along the river bend. Real and spill Hemlock Island. <laughs> what kind of names are these? Okay, we're still missing like the whole middle section here. This is costing me. Oh, this is costing me days. Lots and lots of days for travel. I don't need to be doing it. It's really not necessary. Hi, Bandit Conjurer. Bandit. Oh, there's quite a few of you. Well, you're gonna be the first to die. Oh, hello. Um, well, Amiri, would you like to take care of that one? That was unfortunately not good. Thanks! Right up for Harem and Valerie. Your life is so generous. No. Kanira, if you could please. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh well, such a slide. Nowhere to run. Okay, these guys are a little sturdier. Ah, okay. Well, that that's just peachy. Okay, cool. Super swell. Forwards. Yep, yeah, that's what I was afraid of, and that's why I wanted to kill you first. Ow! Yep, that's what I wanted. I wanted the archers to do their shit. They go down! Nah. Getting up in the skill. Dude, that sounded like a dude. Ouch. Ouch, he says. Lol. What a waste. Right? Burn. Onward. true. Oh, I can see him now. Up, up, up! Shoot! Aim carefully. Hey! Yes. Lucky shot. Here I am. Damn it! See. Life does not work the way I want it to work. <laughs> All right, off we go. Some damage has been taken, but it's not the end of the world. We shall proceed. Nine out of one hundred. Yeah, you can tell I don't like random encounters. <laughs> uh, continue. Okay, look, we got a path. That's all that matters. Let's just keep going. So if we need to fast travel, we have a path. Uh, we just need to follow the river, technically. Pike stretch. Do I own these lands? 
I do not own these lands. I didn't think so. Boom. Look at that. We tra ah! Am I on my land? Or am I not on my land? Combat priests. Opportunity. 14 days. 70%. Nah, 70% is fine. I'm on my land, so Huzzah. Alright. Amiri. I'm doing as you wish. Oh boy. This is a much bigger establishment than I was expecting. Okay, well, they're all just generically named barbarians. The I don't want to speak clear. to them. Save yourselves! It's them again! Uh, hello? Quickly, get in before the guards die. Let's finish them quick. What is this? Nightmare Skeleton Soldier. Okay. You dead. okay. I guess we're gonna move in, like, super quick. Get near it, get near it, get near it, get near it, get near it. Go, 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 go. Give me a view of what the fuck's happening over here. Okay, we've got two guys over here. Oh, there's a heap of them. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Get Stay in there, Valerie. Behind me. We're gonna have to split the assets. Uh, Okbo, you have a lot of distance to travel. You go support them. Uh, Valerie. Get in the girl. And then uh, rage, because you gotta show how awesome you are. Is it just the three groups? Is it anybody I'm missing? I mean, you guys seem to kind of have it in hand. I'm going to be honest Attack. with you. Ugh. I don't really know what direction to go in. Just ambiguously forward, I suppose. <laughs> we'll make a decision shortly. Cannot hide from me. Oh, I got rid of you. This guy is not doing so good. Eh, half elf, I suppose. Oh shit! Oh shit! Harm this way! Harm this way! This dude's getting his ass handed to him. Flames take you, Valerie. Let us strike at one. Yeah, this isn't looking good for that guard. Nice work, Ukbo. Oh come on, bro! You couldn't even save yourself. Bring it. Such is life. Yeah, you can help with this guy. Fantastic. Everybody, move out. A solid plan. Nope, nope, nope. There's one more over here. Never mind. Oh shit, there's more up here. Ah shit, 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 shit. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, harm, you literally cannot get anywhere. Doesn't matter. It doesn't mean you can't try. Okay, I am gonna need you to come forward, bro. Nowhere to run. I know that doesn't help in the long run. I mean, sorry, in the short run, but it does in the long run. Oh, yes, perfect. Uh, Kinira? Uh, yeah. This situation's a little grimmer. Okay, Let's go deal with this. Valerie, sort Do out this guy. Boat, help Amiri. Perfect. Okay, Amiri, we're shooting this way. Save yourself. Oh, come on. Okay, I need you to literally charge. I know you can't, but I want you to charge. <laughs> I want you to charge up here. Tear them apart! Oh, she's super fast. Oh, that's right, because I gave her that, that thingy. I leveled her up. Up her speed while raging. Can you be a peach and move up? Way too Forwards. far back. Thank you. Harum, can you f oh, we really? Really? Dust. One foot short. <laughs> That'd be right. I aim true. Yes. Okay. Looks like it's just this lot then. This is going to Yay! They will be back. Okay, what's what's happening? 
Nilak. As soon as you approach the camp, a bright-eyed girl in a long skirt runs up to Amiri and gives her a big hug. Amiri, you're really alive! Oh, the girl sobs and wipes her eyes. Everyone said you were killed by the giants, but I always believed you survived. And no one ever found your body. Amiri, I missed you so much. Then I'll stop crying. I'm alive, alive and well. You know nothing can beat me. Here, meet each other. Nilak, this is Baroness Verity. She's some, something, something like a new chieftain for me now. Verity, this is Nilak. She's... She's the only decent person in my whole lousy tribe. Don't say that. Yes, the elders were mean to you, but you shouldn't blame the whole tribe. Having wiped her eyes, Nilak presses her hands against her chest and bows before you. I am Nilak, song keeper of the six bears. You must be the rulers of these lands. Forgive us for intruding into your domain, but we... Wait, really? You're really song keeper now? That's great, since... Can I prioritize why they're here? Especially since they know that they're intruding? Nila gives her a sad smile. I always wanted to be one. While you were learning to fight, I learned the legends. While you were training with the sword, I trained with the tambourine. But I was initiated during your funeral feast, Amiri, when we were saying goodbye to you and your party. As I sang at the funeral pyre, my heart broke in pain. Desna whispered to me and told me how I could turn this pain to power. Even the rocks and stones cried over the fallen, and when they heard my song that night. Uh, she didn't. Uh, nice to meet you. A nice ambiguous <laughs> line. May both our tribes live in peace. We. Is this the tribe elder or her father? Chieftain Akaya, an old grey haired barbarian with a tattooed face, interrupts her. Nilak, who are you chatting with? Who are you? Wait. He looks closer at Amiri's face. How many times has she been gone for? I didn't know it was that long. And starts to typo, he starts to yell, pointing his crooked finger at her. You, pariah, freak. After all you did, you still have the nerve to come and show your ugly face here. Chieftain Akaya, this is Baroness Verity. We're in her lands now. Please soften your heart. Maybe she can help us. Chieftain gives you a contemptuous look. A Baroness, huh? Yet another tribe ruled by tits. Ugh, fine. Sexist motherfucker. I am Akaya, the chieftain of the Six Bears tribe, and I need you to give me this dirty scumbag. He points his finger at Amiri. Watch your tongue, Chief. You're a guest in these lands. Uninvited and not particularly welcome. Quiet woman. The chiefs are talking. Oh, brah. You're skating on thin ice. You think you can talk back to a warrior just because you learned to put on armor? Choose your words carefully, barbarian. You and your tribe are guests here. Sounds like you're not too clever, so I'll speak in a language I'm sure you understand. One more rude word, and I'll punch your rotten teeth down your throat. What do you mean, need? Amiri is no longer one of your tribe. She's with me now, so if you need something from her, you'll have to speak with me first. Guess. We'd rather be guests in Abyss than this hole. But we had to come. I'll tell you why we're here. From the dawn of time, our tribe lived by the old ways. Everyone had a job. Everyone had a place, a job to do. Men crafted and went hunting. Women and bore children and kept the huts clean. These are the ways set by our ancestors, and we do not change it. That's because you're never minded. But then this upstart girl wants to match herself against men. She passed the warrior's initiation. She went hunting. But there's truth in the saying. Nothing good comes from a woman with a sword. Neighbor tribes laughed at us. Look, there's a second chieftain in the tribe. Soft chieftain, girl chieftain. Must be the end of the six bears. And they were right. She brought disaster upon our whole tribe. Why are you blaming her for the disaster that has fallen before you? That seems really stupid. Once, a gang of giants came to our lands. They scared our prey, attacked our huntsmen. So we decided to deal with them. We sent a group, and she went along. For a long time, we waited for this group to return. Then we went searching for them even longer. But all we found were their dead bodies. Giants killed them all. Everyone. Except for her. What has that got to do with some problems with your, your tribe? And then things got even worse. Doesn't that just say she's a better warrior? Have you seen these monsters? An evil spirit sends them. The ghost of a giant. He's the one who chased us from our lands. He chased us through all the, of Numeria. Even now, he's somewhere nearby. Maybe he's just over that hill. He chases us, kills our people, and always says the same. Bring the thief to me. Find Amiri. Chieftain turns to Amiri, his face red with anger. He shouts, slobbering in her face. Ew, that's revolting. Rain yourself in, you rabid dog. Now you understand? That's what your dreams have cost us. You brought a curse in our tribe. Pariah. Now, hand me your weapons and get yourself to the woman's hut. This is That is your place. It always was and always will be. We'll feed you to the ghost. Maybe then he'll leave us alone. And at least you'll atone for a tiny part of your guilt. Yeah! Go, Amiri! 
and Mary had bust the chief in space, breaking his nose with a sickly crunch. Paying no heed to Nilak's squeal and growling in anger, she leaves upon him, punching the old man's face. The chieftain spits blood and struggles to speak, and Amiri grabs her sword. You realise that a murderer will quickly follow. Amiri, stop. He's already got what he deserves. Well, I don't think he has, to be honest with you. But I'm interested to just watch what happens. Oh, shit! I, uh, I thought we'd have like a little bit more conversation before she whips out her sword. Um, probably could have saved that man's life, but done now. Maria plunges her sword to the chieftain's chest. She breathes heavily, staring at the old man as he falls to his knees before her. Then she looks around the campsite, and all the barbarians who witnessed the scene, nearly concluded, dash inside their huts. Um, I hope you're happy. <laughs> Panting heavily and swaying like a drunk, Amiri approaches you and puts her bloody hand on your shoulder. That old goat said, some evil spirit must be near... Bye. Let's go. We find him and we kill him. And then we make them all go back where they came from. I don't know. I don't owe to them. What kind of grammar is this bullshit? Is the person who made this game not inherently an English speaking company? Because there are so many issues. Nothing. And never. I don't want to see them ever again. Okay. Cool. I don't know where it is, but cool. Okay, so I guess I need to find it. Is it on the same tile as these guys? I don't think it is. I think I gotta go elsewhere for it. Can we at least lose this guy? <laughs> ah, shit! He's here! You. He's here! Theon. Hi, Theon. I probably shouldn't send you out, but whatever. Fuck it. Oh, no, you're gonna come to me in two seconds. I'll delay. And I probably should just... Oh, that's not... Ah, you're still not gonna come to me. Oh, no, shit, god damn. Ah. They go down. Rip. Okay, fire does strike. No one's coming up behind me, are they? No, 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 we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, fine. They're all coming from the front. Ah, not take that back. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okun will take care of us. Onwards. Ah! Yep, Okun will save us all. If we can just focus on Aim that. Carefully. Oh, Jesus, that is not ideal. If I have to make introduction, so I uh, there's a skeleton here. Gotcha. I death. Doesn't seem to matter to Ekun, because he does so much damage. It don't matter. Oh, Harm, Three you kill me with your stubby legs. Shield of Faith, animate dead. Oh, that's great. That's a lot of minions. But at least they're hitting the correct person. No, 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 this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. Let's check priorities. Flames take you. Ah, that's okay. He's going to that side. That's fine. Stay behind me. Where is this guy's health bar? There he is. Oh, <laughs> haven't really done much damage, have we? Slick. Cannot hide from me. Oh yeah, that did some solid damage. That I couldn't. Eh, I don't think I can really hit anything because I haven't given you any buffs. Oh, uh, you're attacking Amiri now. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> ah! Harum did not like that. Bring it. Come on, Amiri. You're supposed to kill him. It's poetic if you kill him, but it's like he's gonna die before your turn comes around. Case in point. Oh, Neelux out. Yoink. Yoink. Don't mind if I do. The road awaits. Oh, oh I shouldn't have used mine. I should have used yours. Boom. There we go. Hi. It hath been done. Find yourself a new village leader, because that guy was a douche nozzle. That's it. We're done with your evil spirit. We cut him into pieces and cast him to the wind. You, you didn't even try to speak with him? Amiri, we've already fought and killed him many times. It's no use. He always comes back. Oh, Amiri, why do you always slash first and think later? So what was I supposed to do? Lay on the ground for him? Let him eat me? You're like, Amiri's right. There was no time to talk. Amiri, that ghost was trying to tell us something. Like we had nothing better to talk than talk to the dead. Well, if he keeps coming back, like, that's not going to solve the problem. 
I saw it in his throat. And that's the end of talk. If he comes back, we'll slam again. Big deal. Uh, bruh, I don't have time to keep coming back here. Neelix shakes her head in disappointment. Amiri, I hoped so much that after we found you, everything will be better. What should we do now? You don't like something? Come on, speak up. I can hear. Amiri bellows with unexpected anger. Neelix matches her anger. I'll tell you what I don't like. You left me. Thanks to you, I realized that a woman can do something bigger than scraping hides and cooking stew. I hoped you would become chief, and I'd be your advisor, and together we'd change the ways of this tribe. But instead you just disappeared, without even saying goodbye. I had nothing left but to become Akaya's advisor. Who led this tribe through the whole Numeria? Who do you think? Who negotiated with the other tribes? And who lived in the women's hut all this time, serving dinner to the chieftain? And now you've found... We've found you. You, you ruin everything. Now the chieftain is dead. Who will be chief now? Will he even listen to me? Or will he be like you, letting his fists decide everything? Will this be the end of our tribe? Actually, Amiri, that really was a short-sighted move. Amiri had no reasons for doing what she did. I have no doubt about that. And she didn't think about anything else except her reasons. Congratulations, Amiri. Now you're just like a real man from the Six Bears. You only think about yourself. You use your fists whether you need to or not. And then you leave it to women to sort out your own mess. So that's how you talk now, huh? You want me to tell you why I smashed this old mushroom's face? And why I fled? I'll tell you. Listen now, you wanted it. The war party I went with. You think we went to fight the giants? I thought that too. I was so happy. I was a fool. Typo. We did not go there to kill giants, Nilak. We went there to kill me. They thought giants would eat me up. And they won't have to get their hands dirty. But I came back. Alive. And with this sword. I thought no one would dare to say that Amiri wasn't a real fighter. But they just laughed into my face and said that if the giants didn't kill me, the frost would. Then they left me alone in the wilderness, without food or tent. And when I understood why, when I saw that this hunt was for, it was then, for the first time in my life, I felt real rage. Yes, Neelak, don't you turn away now. Look in my eyes. I killed them all, with this sword. I'm not a thief, Neelak. I'm much worse. I'm a kinslayer. And you know what? I don't care. They deserved it. A whole damn tribe can go to the dragon's moor. And me too. What? Do I deserve to die? Should I go to Dragon's Moor too? No, you. This wasn't what I meant. You're not like them. I'm a part of this tribe in Miri. If you don't want to help me save it, you'd better leave. I'll manage without you. I'll ask the Tiger Lords for help. Okay. I have a problem with this. It's like Neelak isn't listening to Amiri. She only cares, she, she's doing the exact same thing as Amiri is doing, in a sense. And that Amiri was doing things for her in selfish reasons, but Neelak's doing the same. She's selfishly only thinking about her and her position in the tribe. She's not giving any consideration to what Amiri just told her. She's not giving consideration to the fact that the tribe literally went and killed Amiri, essentially. She's just ignoring that. She's just like, yeah, well, hey, guess what? Don't care. Get out. You're causing problems. So, Neelak, I think you're a bit selfish as well, and you lack compassion. Mary spits on the ground, then grabs your hand in her iron grip and drags you away without saying another word. I am okay with this. Uh, I am done with Neelak. She deserves none of my compassion. But the problem is, old mate's gonna come back. Abandoned a six bears campsite. Okay. Uh, he's gonna come back. There's a lot of abandoned buildings over here. <laughs> okay, I guess it's done for now. I guess it's done for now, but I, I seriously think it's gonna get worse as time goes by. Okay, well. Does anybody remember what town I had to go to for Sherelle? I don't remember and it doesn't freaking tell me. It's so stupid. I shouldn't have to Google this shit. Tell me which city I'm going to, which village. North Nalmarches. That's where I am now, isn't it? Yes, so it must be Cinderford. Okay, Cinderford it is. Let's go. Ah, go away. Bye. Enter. He was on the left side, yes? Yeah, here. I have proof of his innocence, sir. Uh, I brought confirmation of his innocence from Hasuf. All accusations of theft are false. I order you to release this man. He's innocent. Next time, conduct a proper investigation before you arrest innocent people. 
So that's how this is going to go. Pardon me, Your Grace. But better safe than sorry. Here, let's set you free, lad, lad. Be careful now. You should keep your eyes peeled with enemies like yours. Wow, you just threatened an innocent kid. There's hope in the half-elf's eyes. And his voice trembles with awe. You, you really did it. For me. I've never seen anyone so honourable. My name is Shirelle, Your Grace. Ah, uh, yet yeah, you'd think I'd know that by now. I'm pleased to meet you. If there's any way, you really shouldn't be having this conversation still, guys. If there's any way that I can repay you. Oh wait, do you need the services of a good tailor? Trust me, I can work wonders with a needle and thread. Great, because I don't wear armor. That'd be super useful. My current threads are uh, for uh, cosmetic purposes only. It's only half elf stops. I can't afford a workshop of my own. If I could find a workplace, even one out here. I don't feel like returning to the capital after all that's happened. Shrell rubs his black eye. Please help me set up a workshop. If you're in need of a decent tailored cloth, I'll make it worth your while. May the gods protect you. Okie dokie. I will build you a work build a workshop. Do you build a bit dip it? Not an option. I'm not building him a workshop. Do I have to go I'll to go the ahead. throne room or can I just build it in kingdom mode? Inquiring minds wish to know. Cinderfoot. Oh, I haven't built anything here yet. Oh dear. I have not much PP. Build. Shirelle's sewing shop. Do you have to be near anything? Plus one to economy when adjacent to a tavern or a longhouse. There you go. Uh, I saw that one. Hey, I've got a free slot! I don't know that I want to build it though. <laughs> I, don't, I don't just, it just, I don't want that. Okay, well, that's all you really need, technically speaking. I don't need to spend any extra BP. Okay, bye. Glad we had this chat. I'm, I'm going back to, come back to my home, please. Thank you. I know where I feel like stopping by, like all these things. No, I really don't care. Oh, what does that give me? Culture. Meh. Okay, back home. I was, oh, I need to go out this way because I need to go via, um, 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 you, Flameshire, 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 I don't know. I need to go via that and I own this place now so I can get that culture. Okay, so more along the lines we can cut through without having to go so far south because I can go across here and across here. And then around, yeah, let's, let's, let's try that. Let's go back. Uh, which path would you like to take? Bruh. No, 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 no. We're going to complete this line, thank you. <laughs> what kind of a trick is that? Oh, shit. Hi. What's happening? Ah, okay. Wait, wasn't there something that she could do? Uh, economy. Training. Curses. Other. Maybe it was economy. Oh. Oh, that's right. I didn't care about these. Wait, it can be a Hell Knight's castle? How? Yeah, okay. Those things are all useless to me. Ah, herbalists. That's the one. Great. Off you go, dear. <laughs> 